Ready. Name, city, acorn member, family, pets. Talk about yourself, your family, and how you got into this situation. My name is Candy Torres, and I live in Houston. I am an acorn member, and I have three companion pets. What problems have you encountered, and how difficult is it? I have a lot of debt that I'm not able to catch up on, and that's in addition to not having a house. And it's, it's some, and also have some other personal medical issues to deal with. So it's extremely hard. I, I was just, I just squeezed out of my house. I was just squeezed out of my house. I was just forced from my house about two weeks ago. January 12th. I st and, and it had been foreclosed on June 3rd. So I stayed, even though I got the eviction notice, I went to court twice, and I just didn't want to lose my house, and I, wa I wanted to work with them. And I had thought I had worked with the bank before that. I had worked with the bank. I had worked with the bank before that. I thought they were working with me, and it turns out they weren't. If there is one thing you could change, what would it be? That's a difficult question. There are too many things going on in my life to change because it's been several years of one thing after another and not having any control over it and, not, and finding the legal system doesn't always support the individual. It's the people with the, the money and the power that have the control even if they're wrong. At this point, how does your future look? My future is very un uncertain. My future is very uncertain. I'm working on developing home-based business because I've lost a lot of trust in people and it has some serious consequences for me with not trusting people. So. I'm working on the skills that I have, but it's a very difficult and lonely thing to do. Why are you willing to stay in your home if you are evicted, or why are you willing to participate in the homesteading campaign? I was willing to stay in the home I had bought because it was not just the money I had put in, it was the money from my parents, the work that they had done, because they had been poor they had lived in a ghetto. They had eaten out of garbage cans. They had had their families separated. And they worked, and they finally pulled it all together and brought us up, and we had a house that I grew up in. And the money from that house was put into the house that I bought, and now it's all gone. Their money, my money, all of it's gone. And that makes it difficult for me to continue with what I want to do, which is to help other people when, I, when I'm feeling so miserable. It's just really hard. Thank you. Um, you can tell me why you support this campaign and why you take the risks to take back your home? Well, okay, can, that, that was a question I didn't really understand, the homesteading campaign, but I will answer. It's, it's our campaign. It's, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. all right. I still want my house back. I, I know that I did everything I could and I, I researched a lot of legal material and believed that I still had some rights, which is why I did file a complaint with HUD. And no one should have to go through this. I grew up hearing the stories of my parents and and I didn't think I was gonna be in that situation. And I it's just miserable when you, everything, you just feel like your whole life has been taken away when your house is taken, and I didn't want that. I knew it would be worse for, for it to be gone because that's where I could be the most creative and be the most useful. And now this is putting me in a hole that gets deeper and deeper. And so I was willing to fight it out as long as I could. So. So you 
Do you want to take your, your, your home back? Yes, I want my home back because living in an apartment, I've got to put all the stuff, other things that are important to me are in storage units, so I'm actually paying a lot more than if I had been in the house. And when you're living you have in your house, is part of your job too, right? Exactly. I'm, it's a home-based business. I had it all set up so that I can do the work. I, I'm a writer. I'm an artist. I need to know, have my materials available. And now they're all scattered around, and they're historical. I have, I've had my whole life, I've been working towards writing books and ex telling people about life and how to achieve your dreams. I never expected to have those dreams ripped away from me, and not because I did anything wrong, but because I did the right thing. And so now it's just, now I'm living in an apartment, which is more like living in a storage unit, only because I'm not interested in decorating. And I don't know what's in all the boxes, and I don't know which storage unit I need to go to to get what I need. Okay. So it's made it difficult. Thank you. Bye. Bye.